welcome. It's your opportunity to join entertainment entrepreneur Nigel Cecil. Hello, Chuckabutties. Nigel here, once again responding to comments and opinions from my friends in equity. And you've got a good one for me, haven't you, Harry? Yes, yes, I love it. This new campaign for a basic income for all creative workers, launched last week by Equity. The slogan, a combination of tragedy and comedy. It's that comedy that kept us going through the terrible times in the war, my grandma said. And you know, that's what we need now. Terrible pandemic times. Times, isn't it? Tragedy for lots and lots of people. So I just love the slogan. It combines the two, doesn't it? You see, the show can't goon. The show can't goon. Bringing back the goon. The goon. It, it, it's not. I've got it wrong. The, the show can't go on. The show can't go on. You, you're, you're a performers union is telling me an entertainment entrepreneur. The show can't go on. I, 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 we must have got that wrong, Hillary. No. no. Well, well, never mind. Set that aside. I'm sure there's good logic behind it somewhere. Uh, uh, but a basic income for creative workers. Well, what does that actually mean? Has equity defined what is a creative worker? Because without doing that, you might actually be campaigning for a universal basic income for everybody. And the only place doing that is Iran with all their oil reserves. But even they're beginning to question the validity of it because apparently quite a few people are being disincentivized from actually working, which creates its own problems. And worldwide, I've only found fringe parties like the Pirate Party currently talking about having a universal basic basic income for everyone. Uh, uh, the Republic of Ireland, I think, is thinking of something, but they, they've not actually got it in place. So who knows where that will go? We, we shall have to see. But the only country that, that I can find that runs a, a basic income for actors and musicians and creative workers is France is France. Uh, they, they call them, what, what do they call them? Uh, intermittents. Intermittents. Uh, and the intermittents in that sector, well, well, they get a, a, a basic income provided they've worked 507 hours in the previous 12 months. 507 hours, that, that's what, three months. Now, how many equity members would qualify for that? So unless equity defines what is a creative worker, well, it, it could almost be like, you see, I, I, I just like my, my little examples. It, it could be like taking a, a cultural boat out to sea, a cultural boat out to sea, sponsored by equity. Uh, uh, and on the boat are the, the Pasquinadian comedians, the, uh, the, the, the Whittlecock fringe performers, uh, and the, what, yes, yes, the radicalising equity group, known as the Reg Players for short. Hello, Reg, how are we? Uh, uh, and they're out on this boat, uh, and guess what? Uh, the, the, the rudder stops. The rudder stops and it's going round in circles, going round in circles. What, what can we do? What can we do? I, I know, we, we'll call that Chancellor bloke back, back in the United Kingdom. Come and save us, come and save us. And they did. And guess what? A dirty British coaster with a salt cake smokestack turned up and said, jump aboard, jump aboard, I'll take you back. I, 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 and the Reg player said, oh, no, 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 we're not getting mixed up with Tyne Co. I, I, and even the Whittlecock uh, fringe performer said, no, 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 sorry, Pig Lad is not for us. But of course, the self-employed Pasquinading comedian said, we don't mind, chuck us in with the cheap tin trays, we'll get back home. And off they went and they got back home. They got back home, but then uh, the, the Whittlecock fringe performers and the, the Reg players said, oi, uh, come and save us, come and save us. And, and guess what? Budgie the helicopter turned up! Budgie the helicopter turned up! And, and flew on! And the Reg player said, We're not having Toy Town. We're not having Toy Town. But by now, the Whittlecock fringe performers said, Oi! Winch up the Whittlecocks! Winch up the Whittlecocks! Nothing like a winched up Whittlecock! And they did, and they got back home. They got back home. And you know, the Reg players were. Still... And eventually, we lost them. We lost them, and it turned out years later. They, they, they'd sort of been marooned on an out island in the Abacos, not far from Marsh Harbour. And eventually, years later, they got back to the United Kingdom and they said, Oi, you were never, Mr. Chancellor, you never sent us, a, you, you didn't rescue us, you didn't rescue us. He said, well, he said, I sent you a dirty British coaster and I sent you budget the helicopter and you turned them down. You turned them down, you see, and that's the problem. That's the problem. If your aspiration is utopia, 
then you miss the opportunities that are before your very eyes. And maybe that's what equity, with its, its radical confrontational uh, look, is about to end up doing. Missing the obvious, missing the obvious, you see. And Nigel has an idea. Nigel has an idea for a campaign, don't I? Nigel has an idea. Yes, indeed, Nigel has an idea, uh, combining tragedy with comedy. Uh, the Panto Dames in September did that extremely well, getting in all the national press because they used the comedy of their pantomime to show how tragic the situation was. And that's what we need. So here's going to have a quick change. Nigel's idea. Nigel's idea. Quick change at the ready. Nigel back with a positive message idea for a campaign. The show goes on. Uh, directed at the person who, who can get us out of this tragic situation. And of course, a little bit of humour thrown in, you see, to combine comedy with tragedy. And of course, directed therefore at Dishy Rishi. Uh, uh, let's start the chant for the campaign. Start the chant, Hillary, please. <laughs> <laughs> Dishy Rishi help us. So the show goes on, you know, a non-confrontational way uh, of getting the message across to the Chancellor uh, about the tragic circumstances everybody in show business now finds themselves. So Dishy Rishi help us. So the show goes on. And, and I'm sure he's got a sense of humour as well. I, I would appreciate that, which, which is why I'm going to finish off by saying, you know, Dishy Rishi really would make a very good clown. Give him the money, please, Dish. Give him the money! Dish.